In this video, we are going to go through a brief overview of implicit differentiation and when and why we might need to use it. So the basic idea of, of implicit differentiation is that we don't always get functions like this, where we have y as a function of x. Sometimes it's not this simple. We might get relations like these two examples here where we have X and Y's all together amongst an equation. And if we want to find an expression for dy dx, which can help us find gradients and tangents and normals of a curve, we still need to try and find an expression for dy dx by taking some derivatives and if it's in this form here, if it's in this relation form where we don't have y as a function of x, we need to use the method of implicit differentiation. So if we do have y equaling, and then everything on the right hand side is a function of x or a constant, this is easy to take the derivative of y, well, dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x is just 2x plus five. We should be familiar with this using our differentiation rules. But with my two examples here, we don't have y equaling and then everything on the other side being in terms of x. So this is why we need to use implicit differentiation. Okay, so I'll go through the steps and these steps here, uh, they are actually just all of our differentiation rules, but we need to apply them correctly. So if I have x squared plus y cubed equaling five, and I, my goal is to find an expression for dy dx, I want dy dx equaling something, because then I might be able to find the gradient of that curve at some point. Okay, so this is what we need to do. We need to differentiate both sides of our equation here with respect to x. That is the goal. So what we do is we look at every single term and we want to take the derivative of uh, those terms with respect to x. And this is the process of differentiating both sides implicitly with respect to x. Okay, so the derivative of x squared with respect to x is just 2x. That's it. But the derivative of y cubed with respect to x, we need to use a rule. We need to use the chain rule because we actually need to take the derivative of the outside function. When you learnt the chain rule, you may have heard outside, inside. The derivative of the outside function here would be three y squared, but then we need to multiply that by the derivative of the inside, which is just this y. So that's why, no pun intended there, this is, this is the reason why the derivative of y cubed with respect to x is 3y squared multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x, which is dy dx. So this is the key part here. The derivative of y cubed with respect to x is 3y squared multiplied by dy dx. Okay, on the right hand side, the derivative of the constant five with respect to x is just zero. And now that we have this here, we can see our dy dx term. We just need to use some algebra to try and rearrange to get this to be the subject. I'm going to uh, take two x from both sides and then divide both sides by three y squared and we will get dy dx to be equal to negative two x over three y squared. Okay, so with this relation here, we can draw some graph if we wanted to, but we know that this is the expression for dy dx. So if we get ever get given a point, maybe an x, y coordinate, we can just substitute them in right here and we will find the slope. This is the gradient uh, at that point. Okay, let's look at example two here. Well, the derivative of y cubed, hopefully we now know the derivative of y cubed with respect to x, we need to use the chain rule. It's three y squared, that's the derivative of the outside, and that's multiplied by the derivative of the inside, which is dy dx. Okay, now looking at this term here, we have x squared times y. We need to take the derivative of this with respect to x, and we need to use a rule, the product rule, because we have the product of two terms. So using the product rule, I'm going to take the derivative of the first term and multiply it by the second term. So the derivative of the first term with respect to x is 2x. And then we need to multiply that by the second term, which is y, which is why we get the 2xy here. And then we need to add, and then it's the first term multiplied by the derivative of the second term, which is why we have x squared multiplied by and the derivative of y with respect to x is just dy dx. 
okay? The derivative of x squared with respect to x is just 2x, so we have our minus 2x here, and the constant, the derivative of that is just 0. So as we can see, we have our dy dx terms here. We can factorize dy dx out of these two terms, and we get our 3y squared plus x squared at the front of dy dx. I'm going to take the 2x on the right-hand side and this term here, and then we can get dy dx to be the subject by dividing this on both sides. And once again, we now have an expression for dy dx. Okay, so in summary, we use implicit differentiation when we have a relation with x's and y's, and it's not as simple as what we may have had earlier in the course, where we have y as a function of x. We need to remember to use our rules. If we ever have something like this, a y cubed or y squared, or, or even a y inside of our product rule, we need to remember how to take the derivative of that with respect to x, which is using the chain rule. And then the goal is to get dy dx to be the subject. Okay, so once you practice a few of these questions, you'll realize that they are uh, quite similar in nature, and they do appear in every uh, IB math AAHL exam. So it's a very important key concept. Okay, good luck.